About 1.30 this afternoon, the two cars collided in Berkeley on Marin Avenue. That's between Spruce and San Benito Streets. Our car for Dan Thorne joins us now live from Berkeley tonight with the latest on this terrible accident. Dan. Well, Vicki and Grant were told that one of the passengers in those vehicles died on scene. The driver of that vehicle had to be rushed to the hospital, but they too later died. It's still unclear tonight what caused this crash, but neighbors in the area say that it's well known how steep Marin Avenue is and speed might be a likely factor. Berkeley police investigators cordoned off a stretch of Marin Avenue following a horrific crash. A female passenger was killed and the male driver later died at the hospital. The mangled vehicles on scene and the impact beforehand catching the attention of neighbors. It was just a bang. It was just one sound. I mean, two people dead. The passengers in the other vehicle, a mother and her child, suffered only minor injuries but were taken to the hospital anyway. One of the vehicles also hitting a power pole, knocking out electricity for hundreds of PG&E customers. What led up to all of this is still in question. Just kind of looking at the overall scene where the vehicles came to rest, rest they were roughly a block apart, you know, which kind of just tells us that this was a high force or high impact type of collision. Marin Avenue is known in the area as having a steep grade. Speeding down it can easily become a recipe for disaster. Spray paint near Craigmont Elementary School pleads with people to drive safely. And now some neighbors think the city government should try to step in. This is not good and it this is it's we, we need to make a change. Well, the names of the victims have not been released at this time, and Berkeley police are asking anyone who may live in the area that saw what happened and may have missed investigators today to come forward with that information. Vicki and Grant? Yeah, Dan, I'm familiar with that area. It, it is a challenge. As, as for the, the people that are impacted tonight, any idea when the power will be restored? Well, we were told earlier by investigators that it was going to be anywhere from six to seven hours that the power was going to be out. And at the last check on the PG&E power outage website, at this time, anywhere from 50 to 500 customers remain affected. Vicki? All right, thank you, uh, Dan Thorne, reporting for us now.